Being raised Catholic in the 1950s meant attending a Catholic school complete with priests, nuns, overcrowding, insufficient facilities, no gymnasium, certainly no real art teacher or supplies, and lots of discipline. Owen and all of his brothers and sisters were raised in the Catholic Church's tradition of everyone will someday be Catholic. Owen's father, Ellsworth, although raised Baptist, converted to Catholicism and promised to raise all of his children Catholic before he was permitted to marry Owen's mother, Anne. Later in life, Owen observed, after making the acquaintance of many other men who had changed their religion to marry, the importance of religion in relation to repopulating and getting laid. Owen is currently the art teacher, as well as an alumnus of the Archbishop Newt Rockney Fighting Homophobiacs All Boys High School for the terminally athletic, overly sexed, and socially retarded. Prior to attending the home of the homos, he was schooled at St. Inadequate Grade School where he was emotionally scarred by the Little Sisters of Perpetual Cramping and Bloating. Sister Charles Mary was not his most favorite teacher slash nun, but certainly was his most memorable. Stir Charlie, as they affectionately called her, had a total concept for classroom management, complete with hand signals, disturbing facial contortions, and special code words. The code word for their dictionaries was certainly the most unforgettable of the lot. Stir Charlie explained to them that she, and they in turn, would from now on refer to their dictionaries as their dicks. That is right. You read it right. She said dicks. Imagine, if you will, an overcrowded classroom of 55 post-World War II baby boomer 13-year-olds. The boys were seated on one side of the room and the girls on the other to avoid temptation. Likewise, the troublemaking, pre-riddling, wise-mouthed, future Vietnam draftee boys were strategically placed in the front with an easy reach of Stir Ralph and a rock maple pointer and oak ruler. And this nun said to call their dictionaries dicks. No, they didn't laugh. Hell, they exploded. After months of being told when and when not to get out their dicks, she found herself at the end of a rope. She just couldn't understand it. As she put it, Every time I tell you boys and girls to get out your dicks, all the boys just giggle and laugh like a bunch of unruly hooligans bent on disturbing the prayerful atmosphere of the class. But not the girls. They get out their dicks right away. <laughs>